hello ladies and mental chain and welcome to the STR 103P review the tier 10 Swedish tank destroyer so finally we're gotten to the tier 10 and is this thing worth the grind well I mean I would say kind of no I mean like this really is only good if you really really enjoy sitting on the red line and jerking off while playing this game and this tank is pretty good at that as well like most tanks before this and this is probably actually the best tank in this line tier 4 tier which is probably good to hear for most of you here. Anyways, um, let's look into the armor profile first. Uh, I think it's better to look in the live vision of model here because uh, then you can see in what kind of angles this tank is going to auto bounce and what kind of angles it won't. So first of all, you have this heat shield here at the front. It doesn't do anything else but absorb the heat shells. And after that, you have 50mm um, armor plate. Um, I mean, 150 mil plus guns are going to overmatch you. Not even sure how it works with this, but this tank does not bounce as much as the tier 9. Maybe you see more bigger guns, but you generally do not bounce uh, as much with this thing as you did with the tier 9. Uh, as you can see, the, the angle on this website, I'm actually not sure because this armor has not worked very well for me at all. So I'm not sure how uh, accurate this is, but uh, I mean, it could be something like this. Like these are the kind of angles that your tank is going to be at. Like if you're aiming at somebody like this, then he will have a chance to pen. But at the same time, if you look somebody, uh, straight at someone, he kind of doesn't have a good chance to pen you apart from the cupola that he actually seems to not even be a hitbox. No, it is. Never mind. Uh, another bad thing, the entire roof is 20 millimeters, so it's a complete overmatch for anything shooting at you. And that of often happens whenever you're climbing over a hill you're gonna try to wet your ass up a bit too much and then uh enemies are just gonna be able to overmatch your roof and uh, there's not really much you can do you can't try to go over hills like this but then like this part is gonna be extremely weak and uh so on anyways uh what else there is to say before we get into the replay not much really i mean this not really available but very well armored tank and a uh, just to feel, I really felt that this bounced less than the tier 9, but it isn't that much of an issue for some other reasons that we're talk gonna talk about a bit later, so let's get into the replay. And here we go, playing on Lake Will, a pretty light tier 10 game, only what, 5 tier 10s per team, one of them is Arty, 3 Arties, which is probably the most annoying part about this once, well, well Arty is just the most annoying part about all the tanks, so it all makes sense. Uh, really aggressive play here at the start. Uh, this TD has really good camo and has a good... I am running binos on it and actually camo on it. It's the only tier 10 I ever do that on. So this should be very uh, capable of spotting and not getting spotted in return. Which is exactly what we like. But before we get into too much action, let's quickly talk about the stats. So you have 1800 hit points, 360 meter view range, top speed forwards 50, backwards 45, power to weight 18.25, tank traverse 35, gun traverse, uh, well, you don't have any. And while we were talking about that, this VK just died because uh, we managed to double track him from this range. Uh, this gun is pretty fucking special in a way at least, uh, and definitely improves much over the uh, the tier 9 that was kind of unable to do, uh, do any of this stuff really i mean i'm kind of now just wondering how much more would i have to shoot him if i hit every shot in order to kill him but uh i mean we don't see the shots missing we don't see explosions on the ground so we just keep shooting i mean who knows maybe we'll only track him with one or two shots there so you know uh and yeah there he goes uh, Obviously a bit lucky that the enemy counter scouts didn't go for like place to counter me, but you know, I'm just lucky that there's no light tanks. There's three arty, but they can't really do much when there's no spotting. So let's talk about the gun now. So we have a uh, 390 alpha damage, just like tier 9. Once again, I am not sure how accurate this damage per minute is. 3342, that is definitely out of siege. And I think the reload gets slightly better when you are in siege. So again, not a very accurate... Um, a representation of the actual accuracy armor pen is 308 with 350 heat heat pen i think the premium ammo is on this either way why would you ever shoot gold out of this anyways and uh, accuracy 0.25 aim time one second in siege mode and you can really feel that compared to the tier 9 this really does feel much better the gun is way more accurate and uh, uh this tank actually you know uh 
is the really the only tank in the game where this accuracy is actually really fucking good. I'd really love to see them uh, give this accuracy to tanks like the Leopard, tanks like the uh, tanks like the 30B, maybe the 50M, just to see how much better the game would get for you know playing those tanks instead of how now being like oh leopard is a sniper tank but then you'll miss three out of four shots because 0.3 accuracy isn't actually all that great and this game really didn't get to try out my armor much but i mean come on i'm playing in literally the middle of the map and nobody can really counter me which is kind of their problem and i can uh, I can definitely be very effective from this position. I cannot push up yet, just because, you know, people in the city are just gonna shoot me and that's not gonna end well for me. But, uh, as long as I can just sit here and look into the middle sooner or later, somebody's gonna pop in to a shot for me. And, you know, this one didn't go very well for me. I, and, and the saddest part is that he showed me so much after, after I fired there and just really bad timing in those shots, uh, for sure. And now the T10, uh, should be give me this shot. As you can see, this gun is quite satisfying to use. The accuracy is really, really good on this. And uh, what else can you use on this? Also, the, the just the ability to just turn like this and shoot instantly is very nice and definitely much, much better than on the tier 9. Another thing you might consider when you're playing this tank is enabling the 30 zoom. I don't really like it too much because it kind of uh, makes you prone to tunnel vision, so I'm not using that at all, but it could be definitely a thing you could use. I mean, now we track the 57, which isn't really the greatest if we couldn't do damage, but uh, yeah, we, we just potato like how many shots? Three or four shots in a row, it's not very good. Anyways, uh, the 57 should die now and we should be able to uh, push up a bit here. Now dealing with the uh, double TDs here, I mean, you can see how still unmaneuverable this tank is when you're uh, when you're in siege mode, you cannot really do much here. You're just trying to make this work. Uh, went for tracking shots. Also, going for tracking shots in this tank is extremely easy, obviously, as you have this ridiculous fucking accuracy, and it really works very well uh, if the if you can, you know, pull the tracking shots. Just like the tier nine, this takes two seconds to go into siege and 1.3. I think it one, it's actually 1.25 seconds to get out of siege. So you know, it's pretty pretty decent compared to the tanks that we were dealing with before. And again, going for tracking shot. Obviously, if he has a repair kit, he's gonna look towards me, and I don't really want to get shot. But at the same time, I'm just gonna track him again and uh, and just fuck off. And you can see that aiming in the air still persists. But now I just don't care anymore. I mean. Uh, I, my DPM is better and I, I don't want to sit here and just wait for my team to kill him, I can just trade this easily. And uh, with my reload I'm actually gonna hurt him more than he will hurt me. Now we're definitely not gonna take another one, but we could easily, easily shoot him twice there. But peeking over corners like this, you cannot really expect to bounce much. Also, hilarious that they couldn't even fucking kill the Artie. Well, hilarious or sad, call it what you want, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Bachelor is still alive. Now he's spotted, but he's probably gonna fuck off in time if he actually is gonna try that. Uh, would be really nice if our team would kill him, but you know, life is a pretty damn hard. We also might want to go back because uh, of the because of the enemies pushing through the valley. That might be where we end up. But at the same time, we should kind of deal with this shit first and not let them uh, um, have us kind of you know in bad positions. Because now. Uh, now we are we don't really have very good angles on them. That was a pretty good uh, Line shot right there to get rid of the 704 it makes our life quite a bit easier uh, I have fi 580 hit points the only thing that really kills me with one shot is the Adi So I can feel free to just poke around here and see if I can do some spotting and That's exactly what we do here. Uh, you can see he's in siege But I mean the aiming time on that just doesn't match this I was able to drive on top of a hill going to siege and then aim and kill him before he could turn and shoot me properly, which is what this tank kinda does, and this is a pretty shitty situation to go into siege, but pretty sure his gun was behind the rock so he couldn't even shoot me even if he wanted to. Now he can definitely shoot me, but uh, luckily for me I didn't get executed by a fucking uh, red line camping arty. A bit greedy at that point, but uh, it's not really that big of a deal, uh, even if I died here we would have still won probably, but uh, um, obviously, you gotta be greedy at some point uh, in order to to have these good games. And uh, uh, once again, as I said, this tank doesn't really bounce much. I mean, we didn't bounce anything in this game. We just lost a lot of health to Artie, pretty much, and uh, and the E3 that I didn't really try to bounce. This is going to be a mistake if the 263 did not cross. Um, 
cross towards the city. That would be kind of a smarter play for him if he went to the city and he could really easily counter the middle from uh, from there. But it seems that he didn't do that, so we're just gonna leave the siege and uh, push on with the rest of our team here. When comparing this tank to a 263, you lose a lot of that armor for sure. As I said, on gen uh, in general, this tank does not bounce nearly as much as the tier 9. And obviously, whenever there's a really big fucker shooting at you, you're not gonna bounce anything. But at the same time, uh, you don't need to rely on that armor as much because your DPM is insane, your accuracy is insane, your aim time is insane. And plus, this tank isn't really the brawler type uh, that the 263 is. This is more like, you know jerk off in the corner and just snipe a lot with this insane accuracy which this has to be if not the best one then the second best after the gorilla because there's no way that uh, there is no way that um, anything else really beats this at camping the red line so he has then played ace tanker 2177 experience with uh, uh, that premium count high caliber ended up doing 7471 damage 4200 from 300 meters or more and we did 2298 assistance as well didn't manage to pick up that top gun in the end but still we got five kills 1451 base experience which luckily was enough for an ace in this thing so that's the re 103 b is it any good well it's good at the thing the one thing it does good which is snipe from a range uh, it can be this pseudo stealth assassin type of a tank if the enemy team doesn't have light tanks and you don't get spotted and fucked but uh, if you can manage to get into positions where the enemy team cannot see you and you can shoot them for days like i did with that vk and uh, and stuff like that then this tank can be insanely powerful but uh it is obviously very situational and uh most of the time your best play is just to get gonna be uh, just to sit on the red line which is not really in my style so not really one of my favorite tanks here but it definitely isn't as bad as the tier 8 was and i think it's also better than the tier 9 was as well so there is that so i hope you guys enjoyed this re review and i'll see you guys in the next one